Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is yet another Photoshop element video tutorial. First, if you get a moment, please stop by my website jackstechcorner.com. This is where you can find some great, very low cost DVD video tutorials. Now, these DVDs are contain tons and tons. If you buy the three volume set, you have 112 Photoshop Elements videos that you can use. Um, if not, there's also one to introduce you to Justin TV. Now, a lot of you haven't been showing up. I know I have over 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. So you think by now we'd be able to get some people to show up and visit us Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do a live show with Photoshop Elements. We also have a call in so you can actually call the show and be able to talk live with me on the air and watch the demonstrations as they're being done so if you have any questions and you want to see it fixed you know uh, right at that time then that's what you want to do is check out justin.tv slash jacks tech corner or you can come here jacks tech corner .com, and there's a player right there I would suggest you full screen it it looks a lot better uh, when you're seeing the, uh, the tutorials also if not that uh, if nothing else, if you want to help out there getting these live shows up and running and producing these videos, do, you know, with the website and everything, it does cost a little bit of money. So we always uh, ask for a donation. If you can uh, be so kind, you can also just donate to the show and definitely help us out. So that is enough of that. We will move on. Today, what I wanted to teach you was how to take a silhouette picture such as this and you can see the sky is kind of boring at this point. It's a sunset, right? But it's kind of boring. What I want to attempt to do here is we are going to create some, some rays of sun reflecting off of the ocean here, going back up into the sky. So you can do this with any basic silhouette picture you have, as long as there's a sunset and it's far enough away that you can make this effect look realistic. Now, the first thing we have to do here, as always, is we're going to duplicate that background image. So we can do it with the Control J, or on the Mac it's Command J, and now we have a layer one. Next, what you want to do, it's very simple to do this, is go down here onto your um, Create a New Fill or Adjustment Layer. Click on that, and we're going to choose Gradient. And here's our gradient. Now I would suggest first of all just to pick a black and white gradient. The style mode, we're going to change this to angle, is how we're going to do this. We have to angle it out. Make this, just put a negative in front of this, 90. We're going to make it negative 90. That's going to give us the effect that we want. Now that you have all that set up, let's go ahead and edit the gradient because we have to have the proper colors. Let's click on this. This is our gradient editor. Now what we're going to do first of all is change the gradient type here to noise. You can see the effect already coming out, how it's already spanning out. So it's really interesting. Uh, you should play with gradients. You know, you sit here and play around with them long enough, you're going to find these uh, different ideas you have here and how to come up with this. Now I did find using the color mode with RGB, I had a little trouble trying to adjust my colors properly to get it to the proper color yellows that I wanted for the sun. So I changed it to Hue, Saturation, and Brightness. That's HSB, Hue, Saturation, and Brightness. We'll take the Hue and we'll actually bring this back and you want to try to pull out as much as you can just into the yellow. Just like so. Try to get some of that green out of there. Make it more yellow. Now you can see we have the effect coming up or in the back. Take your saturation, let's run it back this way. Let's make it more saturated so it's more yellow, right? That's what we want to do here, more yellow. And turn your brightness back up, back into here, to make it a little brighter. And you got to play around with these a little bit to make this the way you want it to look. The next thing I found, if I click this randomize button, sometimes it gives you the effect you want, sometimes it does not. There you go. It gives us the effect we want, but it's kind of orange at this point. So we're going to try to pull this back a little bit here. We're going to pull this over just a little bit more just to make it a little bit more brighter. 
maybe uh, raise the brightness a little bit more. And we'll get the effect that we want here. All right, so there's the effect that you want to do there with that one. Now that we have those set up, and they look pretty good, uh, we're going to play around with this just a little bit more, maybe a little bit brighter here. I'll try to pull this back a little bit. Nah, we'll leave it up. All right, so that looks pretty good for this effect. Like I said, play around with them and get the best scenario or the best setting that you want. Now you can click on new, you can give us a name here, click on new and save this if you ever want to use it again. And I suggest you do. Once you get it perfect, save the gradient because you're going to use it later on anyway. Click OK and then click OK up here. Now we have an issue with, if you look here, we have an issue with this not being set proper, right? Because you can't see anything below it. So if you change the layer style and change it to overlay. Now we can see that we have that back air. Now you can see how we're getting some sun rays in our sunset to give the sun or the sky just a little bit better, um, a better look to it, a better feel. And it looks like it's reflecting off of right here. Now sometimes what happens is the effect is an overlay, so you're getting some effect down here also in this bottom part. All you got to do there, that's really easy to fix that, is go to gradients over here and this time choose your black and white gradient, the foreground and background, right? Hold your shift key down and just draw a straight line up to the top of the sky, right about there. Uh, let's see here. No, that's not where we want it. Let's undo that. See if we can take it this way. There you go. So start from the top and come down is where you want to go from. Let's undo that because I think I actually went too far. Or maybe not far enough. Let's see if we can get down through this. There you go. So there's the effect that you want. You now have those nice arrays of sunlight in the background there. And... You have the sun coming this way. It looks like now it's reflecting off of here and you're getting sun rays up. And you have a beautiful silhouette picture. So it's really, really nice. And this is very, very suitable for framing. And all it was was using a gradient fill layer and then a gradient, a normal gradient over it to spruce it up a little bit and get rid of what you didn't want in the bottom. Once again, folks, thank you for joining me for these Photoshop Element tutorials. Please join us every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This past weekend, we actually ran the show over. That was yesterday. Um, not to date the shows or anything. I try not to date these, but this, this past Sunday, we um, ran the show over, and something happened. I don't know if my computer hiccuped, my network hiccuped, but Justin TV cut it off short. So if you watch that segment, um, you catch all the ending of the uh, Working With Text segment that I presented. But at the very end, it, it did have a hiccup somewhere and something happened to it. Um, so I am planning on posting that whole entire show on YouTube. So you'll see it on this YouTube channel. Also, please take a minute to subscribe to, these, uh, to the YouTube channel. And if you go over to Justin TV, please click on the follow button. I'm trying to actually um, get producer status over there, whatever that actually is going to give me. But... It's always better to be a producer or, or something, uh, just like YouTube here, being a partner definitely helps me out to uh, produce stuff and put a lot of stuff out there for you. Once again, stop by the website. Uh, if you like this tutorial, stop by and pick up those DVDs, folks. You're going to be learning so much uh, in such a short period of time. Uh, people to already purchased them. All I get is, is compliment emails, and I do appreciate those very much. Other than that, as always, keep those shutters clicking. Keep the editors editing. And I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.